Okay. Um, the argument that the the drinking age should be lower is well, it has good concept that it will decrease binge drinking and that less people get less intoxicated. But the fact is, it just won't work. Uh, as stated, as shown in other countries, the um, from the U uh, citing from U.S. Department of Justice where they got information from Monitoring in the Future, they, otherwise known as MTF, and the European School Survey Project on Alcohol and Other Drugs, the ESPAD. Um, in 2003, MTF survey, 35% of 10th graders reported that they had a drink in the past 30 days. It is clear that the United States is a low consumption country by European standards, with, an with the exception of Turkey, which is 20%. Every European country in the ESPAD survey had higher prevalence rates, meaning that if in these countries where the drinking age is lower to 18, they are drinking much more than in the United States, except for Turkey. And in, uh, also from U.S. Department of Justice, in many cases, the percentage of young people reported drinking five or more drinks in a row is considerably higher than that for the United States. Only Turkey again has a substantial lower rate than in is seen in the United States, which is at 22%. <coughs> this, which is the um, drinking five drinks in a, or five or more drinks in a row, is known as binge drinking. It is con consuming a large amount of alcohol at one time, and um, as shown by these results, that the United States does not have as much as the uh, European countries, which have the lower drinking age at 18. And finally, from the U.S. Department of Justice. As with being drinking, adolescents in the United States show a moderate rate of intoxication compared with the uh, European groups. <coughs> the United States is somewhat higher on this measure than some countries, um, substantially lower than others, which Australia, Denmark, Finland, Denmark, <coughs> Ireland, uh, Isle of Man, uh, United Kingdom, just to name a few, and essentially equivalent to uh, still others, Italia and Malta. So, um, these are the adolescents that they get intoxicated, which is where most of the, the uh, well, which is where death comes from. <coughs> and most of the bad decision making uh, that adolescents make is when they get intoxicated. So if the United States is substantially lower in these percentages than the European countries that have 18 uh, year olds drinking, then it clearly shows that the United States is getting less intoxicated than the, with their 21-year-old drink policy. Another reason why this won't work is that it may save lives um, with alcohol poisoning, things like that, and it is sad that Gordy Bailey died that way. But what about the thousand deaths annually that the NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic uh, Safety Administration, says that uh, this 21-year-old policy uh, prevents these 1,000 deaths annually from highway crashes involving intoxicated young drivers. Those are thousands of deaths <coughs> annually that are saved where they could be dead if it was lowered back to 18. Also, the, um, the, NH, the NHTSA says that during the period of the, v of the Vietnam War, 25 states also moved to reduce the age to purchase and consume alcoholic beverages, where the result was a dramatic increase in the highway crashes, injuries, deaths, and caused by intoxicated drivers in the 16 to 20 age group. This is the age group that is pretty much being discussed, and um, clearly showing that in, in this isolated case, that if that if the drinking age was lowered to 18, it wouldn't work. It would just increase deaths on the highway, and and even uh, if you were to lower, if you were to lower it to 18 years old, then younger people, such as 15 to six or 15 to 17 year olds, would be able to get alcohol just the same way that 18 year olds are able to get 21 year olds. It, it will just trickle down uh, the age group. Uh, as a quote from uh, an interview on CBS with Ruth, uh, Ruth Streeter and a, um, a Chuck, Chuck Hurley, uh, 
Ruth stated, or asked Chuck, so what you're saying is 18 year olds today get 21 year olds to go get them liquor. You're saying 15 year olds would get the 18 year olds to do that. And uh, Charles Shirley, who is part of MAD, the Mothers Against Drunk Driving, says, yeah, that is what we're saying. So basically, it, it's making the trickle down effect that, um, that the 15 year olds will just act as 18 year olds now. Um, and then, as my partner said, that uh, the young, this, if, if it does trickle down there, the younger you get, the the less or the more harm the alcohol will do on their brains. As stated by Robert Corgan from um, a San Francisco Bay, uh, or San Francisco Gate article, the American Medical <coughs> Association reports that the brains of adolescents are so vulnerable that even short-term or moderate drinking can impair memory, learning, information recall, and socialization, some of the very reasons for which we send our youth <coughs> to college. Well, if they're losing um, short-term memory from just moderate drinking, what if they became just like 18-year-olds now who are getting intoxicated? We'll lose an entire group of potential um, college students just from the drinking. Also, um, it would, uh, this uh, policy would only, um, would just transfer the, the responsibility from college presidents who are pressured now to have programs for students to inform them about alcohol. But in um, the Chicago Tribune article that states, lowering the drinking age would transfer responsibility and in some cases legal liability from colleges and their presidents to the immature shoulders of 18 year olds. So basically, the 18 year olds would be all on their own if this policy was passed. 